guys, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video here in Hong Kong. Today we are doing a food tour, but with a twist. We're going around at night time and see what foods we can find. I am joined by... Virginia from Humid with a Chance of Fish Balls Tours in Hong Kong. So I'm super excited. Last time we went on a food adventure during the day, um, I was super stuffed. So I can't wait to see where she brings me to and what we can eat. We've got, well, we've got all night. Yeah. Four hours, four or five hours, six she, hours, she does not hours, seem, eight hours, who knows. You don't seem convinced? No, we'll, we'll, we'll go until the sun rises. Okay, we had high fives last time, so let's do it again. Are you ready to eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's go. Okay, we've made it to our first stop. We're literally on the side of the street. What is this place called? Oi Man San. Okay. I think in English it's just phonetically known as Oi Man Sang. As you can see, our faces might be lit up quite orange because over there they're literally cooking the food yeah. and it's they're literally on the street. It's actually incredible. There's loads of stuff happening. There's loads of signs. Um, I've got a bit of jet lag, so I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I'm going to explain to the guys why we're here and what have we ordered. Yeah, so this is called Thai Pai Dong, which really means like an outdoor eatery. In Chinese, it means big licensed eatery. Basically, it just means that they're licensed to have their cooking, to be cooking outside, and we get to eat outside. They also own indoor stalls now as well. So basically, you can't see, but they've taken up about half of the block here. So things that you have to eat here now are going to be things that are fried in a big block, because um, if you fry things in a big block with um, high fire kerosene gas, then it has something called wok pei, which is like wok sizzle. So their signature is the beef and potato. One thing that you have to get at any Thai Pai Dong is clams and black bean sauce, but here they do clams, razor clams and black bean sauce. That's one of my favorites. It's some experience. I'm gonna go around and show you after we eat um, the kind of like vibes there are, the people that are sitting around, how they cook the food. I don't know if you can hear me properly. Hopefully you can. There's just like, yeah. I feel like there's a lot happening. <laughs> I'm like, the last time we went to a dim sum place, there was a lot happening there. And this is kind of similar vibes. Though, so I'm hungry. I'm ready to tuck in to what we're going to eat. Are you hungry? Yeah, totally. We need rice. Oh yeah, we need rice. It's classic standard Chinese. We need some rice. Okay, we are halfway through our meal and basically, what's this? We got... Razor clams. It's called Singzi. So if you watched the previous video we did about foods in Hong Kong, the first place we went to, she put like some spicy sauce on the plate. And this here, guys, I don't know if I can eat it. I've had two bits and I'm just like slowly eating this because I think the other one is a bit too spicy for me. I was kind of joking at the start, she's trying to kill me and we've just met, but this is our second time meeting and I feel like she has a motive behind this. I forgot, they put spice into it, so I didn't realize it was going to be this spicy, but it's actually not that spicy. So if you can take spice, it should be nothing. But if you're weak sauce, then yeah, it might be a little spicy. I hope I survive this. Okay, we've just finished up in the Dai Pai Dong. But I thought we could give you some fun facts about that place. So what's one special thing about there that's different maybe to any other spots? So they actually go to the wet market themselves. Uh, you know the wet market that we went to a couple days ago? That's actually the wet market that they go to. So they go there in the morning and they check out what's fresh and they pick all their vegetables and their seafood themselves, themselves that day. That was actually pretty good. And let's head to our next stop and see what other food adventures we can find at night. Okay, we've made it to another stop, which is a dessert place called... Tongso. We've got this guy here called... Mango Ice. No, what's it called in Chinese? Oh, Mongo Bing. And then we got... Durian Ice. Lao Lin Bing. What's the white 
like clear balls? It's kind of their specialty. They're just syrup balls. It's okay. almost like a tapioca or not even. It's just like a jello. Okay, so you probably had mango before. So that's not like too different. I'm probably gonna like this because I'm a big mango fan. This stuff is... If you could smell it, you wanna just like smell it and tell It doesn't smell the best. What is durian? It's a fruit. It's a. It's supposed to be like the world's stinkiest fruit. But this place is really well known for the ice, specifically their longan ice and their durian ice. That's why they're famous. They actually started in the new territories and because they're so famous, they actually moved and opened some several During summer, if you smell it, then sometimes it might, because the sweatiness and the heat, it might smell super overpowering. But if you have it in an ice cream or if you have frozen durian, that is the best way to start for people that have never had durian. I don't think I've had it before, so we're gonna uh, have a taste test and see how we go. <laughs> Um, how do I do this? Okay, so that's the ice and that's the fresh fruit. So take a little bit of everything. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -mm. What does it taste like? Well, I love it. <laughs> Alright, it's all mine. It's all mine. You like this? Yeah. Like, what the fear? It's just... It's just, it's ice blended with the durian. So it's fluffy ice. Okay, I don't mind that. I wish you could smell this. I feel like if you could smell this, you would understand what I'm talking about. But I feel like if you're here, this is probably one thing you're gonna try. Um, and I guess this ice part is like... No, I actually don't like the ice part either. <laughs> Wait, you have to try durian three times. What? You have to try most things three times. Nah, if, if it's a nah, acquired taste, you have nah, to try it three times. I'll nah, grow on you. Nah. No. <laughs> Let, let's try the mango. Mm. This is my guy. What, what about if you mix both together? Mm -mm. <laughs> Mango's really nice. Why would you mix them two together? Don't be silly. You gotta try it three times. This is the one. Mm. This is my thing. Okay, we arrived to Temple Market. Where is this located? Uh, Yamade and Jordan. So the thing is, it's currently around 20 past 11. A lot of the stalls are actually closing, but this actually reminds me of a place called Ladies Market. Um, I guess. This is the night version of it. Very yeah. similar, very close together. You could probably walk all the way down if you wanted to, but this one is really just alive after 8 p.m., but Ladies Market is after 2 p.m. And then we're actually on a search for some, I completely forgot, what were we on the search for? Gaidan Zai. Okay, which is egg waffles. And fingers crossed, it's gonna be open. I do realize a lot of things are starting to close. I'm not sure how long, how long does Hong Kong like stay open until? This particular one, maybe 11, even 11.30. If you do other things like karaoke or late night food, that stuff, you can find stuff 24 hours. Okay, well, I think I'm just able to squeeze in some extra dessert. So I'm excited to show you this because I've seen stuff like this in London and it looks absolutely delicious and I haven't probably tried it. So I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, made it to the last of the evening because I think a lot of the places are closing. What is this place called? Mommy's Pancake. Okay, literally, but I think it's a chain, so they have a few different locations around Hong Kong. They are Michelin recommended, and they are probably the most popular egg waffle chain around. However, their quality control is pretty good, so if you want to do something, a safe option, make sure you go to Mommy's Pancakes. There's a ton of other egg waffle shops around, but this one is super crunchy on the outside and super gooey and soft on the inside. My favorite is the one with chocolate. And then how do you eat this? You just rip. Okay, literally? Yeah. So do you know why they have egg waffles? No. Because back in the day, they would deliver the eggs and then the eggs would crack. So instead of throwing them away, they made it into egg batter. This is um, inspired by the Dutch dollar pancake. So that's the, the mold and that's why they're called egg waffles. The new fusion kind, they put ice cream on soft, soft serve. Like, I mean, it's all right. You know, honestly, guys, this is super good. It's like crispy on the outside. 
and then it's soft and doughy on the inside with a bit of chocolate. This is 100% better than that stuff we tried earlier on. Where? The durian? No, Cho durian is better. No, chocolate is definitely better. Actually, I want to know, comment down below what you would like better. Egg waffles with chocolate or durian with iced durian underneath it? What is your, what would you comment if you had to comment? Durian. <laughs> Egg chocolate waffles, guys, like, it's the one. Right, I think that rounds up the whole food tour of Hong Kong and Nike. We went to quite a lot of different places, tried as much as we could, as much as I could eat anyway. What was your highlight of the day? The Thai Pai Tong and then the durian. What was your highlight? My highlight was the egg waffles, 100%. But yeah, it's been super awesome. Virginia actually does food tours here in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna link her in the description below with everything you wanna know. So if you wanna come on a tour like I have, or if you wanna go on a group tour, actually, Hang on, do you want to quickly explain to the video what you do in Hong Kong? Yeah, so I run food tours, so the non-touristy off the beaten path food tours. Uh, we take people to see mahjong being carved and we will take people to see bamboo noodles being made. So lots of cool things. Uh, he'll link all my information below and if you want to see him behind the scenes of taking some photos, you can check out our Instagram. I like fish balls. Anyways, I'm gonna end my video here. I hope you guys have a great day, no matter what you've been up to. And yeah, comment down below, let me know what your favorite part of this video is. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. See you, see you, later. See you in the next video.